the back looks like it's I love this dress Uh, my great grandmother, as you know, we are like this. Obviously, I have to show you this bikini too. Uh, all those details on it has like the little uh, beige pinkish straps, but you see like the marble kind of um, marble looking print. It's a mess. I am so over this whole like renovating stuff. So regular skirts looks like this. Hi babes, welcome back to another video with your girl Nathalys. I hope everyone is having an amazing day so far. We are doing another try on haul, uh, another fashion outfit try on haul. So we're gonna mix a little different outfits. Uh, so I really hope you enjoy with the color match and styling a little as good as I can due to me not unpacked. I haven't unpacked yet. Um, but I'm gonna do the best I can. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button and become part of Natalisa YouTube family. Also check out a little pin comment I have under this video where you can get to know me more on my other social media platforms that I have. But no time to waste. Let's get started with today's video. Okay, my all-time favorite dress is on. I've had this one for I don't know how many years. I've taken it from i think i got it in miami when i was living that and that there and that is years ago but i love the cutout that goes on here on the side so this side is very like it has a cutout here um but then it's very like sleek and elegant on this side but then on this side we have the cutout and this is how the back looks like it's i love this dress i will never get tired of it this is like I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. Uh, I never want to get rid of it. And usually I get tired of clothes, but you see like the marble kind of um, marble looking print on it. I love the fact that it's kind of high cut here. Um, kind of enhance the waist a little, so it gives you that hourglass figure. Um, I love this one. I am obsessed with this one. Um, I'm going to put on my heels and we're going to do a little walk because this is to die for. So hold on. Okay, I'm baking a uh, pineapple pie um, that's compliant with my um, with my diet. Uh, so it's no, it's coconut sugar instead of regular sugar. No normal flour. It's like what was it called? The flour? I know it's coconut shreds and tiger nut flour. I don't even know. Um, but I'm making it and I'm going to my great grandma and great grandfather. So, because usually, you know, I come home and I eat by them and we hang out. The problem now is with my diet, I, I can't do that. Like I can't eat 
the normal stuff that I usually eat and they're a little bummed out so now I'm baking a pie and I'm going over there the sun is shining I don't know if you can see it um this is the outfit oh the pie is ready I'm doing like a linen type of um outfit just very casual and let me see how the pie is coming along it looks ready it's been 20 minutes um what time is it yep it's time for me to go go um but yeah cute little earrings i'm wearing these a lot and just very casual fitting sweden but i'm so happy that the sun is out and it's gonna be perfect weather for like a week so wednesday they're coming to do the floors um and once they've done the floors, I can move in the furniture and I can get some balcony furniture, which, so I can sit outside and just, I don't know, soak up the sun. Um, we're doing like a no makeup. I know it looks like I have a lot of makeup on, but these are lashes, strip um, lashes that I put on once a month. So we have some mascara, we have some blush, um, and I did my eyebrows, but that's actually it. I'm trying to do a more, like no foundation, no contouring, no, no nothing like that. Um, nothing on my lips except for um, oil. So let me know what you think about this no makeup makeup type of look. Um, but I still need to fix my eyebrows. They're like all over. Oh, the pie. I need to get the pie. Okay, hold on. I kind of realized I thought I was going to pop it out of the oven and just bring it. The problem is it's hot, obviously. So I'm probably gonna have to carry it in this, I guess, because um, I want to come to them when it's piping hot. So, okay, we gotta go now, we gotta go. But I'm gonna carry it downstairs with this. Okay, next up we have this gorgeous one. I love the color on it. I love the fact that it's a three piece. So it came with this beautiful skirt. This very simple skirt. You can kind of, depending on how you want to wear it, um, but I really like the colors on this one. You guys know I'm more in, um, <clears throat> I don't know what's happening to my voice, more in like a, a more beige, kind of not colors that too much out there. I, I know I've been wearing a lot of those too, but this is probably like a little easier for me to wear in Europe because in Europe they dress very differently. So I really like this one. Um, the top. A little tricky to go tanning in. These are not my favorite, favorite tops. Um, I don't know what's happening to my voice. I need to eat something. I haven't eaten today. I really need to eat something. The light here is horrible. I need to do, I don't, I need to get something. Cause it's, it's okay when I'm up here, but when I'm back there, can't see anything. Um, so I need to figure out what to do with lighting and stuff. Um, but we love, we love this one. Um, so regular skirt looks like this. What is this? What is this pattern called again? This swirl thing. Um, I had a lot of this fabric in or pattern in Mexico. I kind of get rid of a lot. What is this swirling thing called? Anyhow, I think this looks gorgeous, and I'm gonna put on my heels. So hold on.
we have problems. I've been trying so hard with the lights here in Sweden to get it like to look the way it looked in in Mexico, but in Mexico I had so much natural light and in the afternoon I had the afternoon sun coming in and gave it like a good light. And here in Sweden it's the opposite. I have morning sun, so the sun is up here like 5.30 in the morning. And I'm trying to be a morning person, but starting working 5.30 in the morning is... I can't do it. I tried today to get up a little earlier and it's it's tricky because the more time passes during the day, the less light I get, while in Mexico it was the opposite. So I tried to get extra lights, I tried to get... I'll show you the setup that I have here. Um, the problem is with the casting so much shadows on me, it really messes up my self-esteem, like it makes me... It, I, I don't look the way I want to look and so I kind of, I don't know, it just, when I look at the videos, it's like, oh, do I really look like this? And I know it's not a big deal, but it's still like, I want to, I want to do videos that I like and I like the way I look and it just hasn't happened since I got to Sweden. So I don't know what to do, to be honest. I have to do more extra lights. I've been trying, um, but it just casts, it makes everything look kind of gray and cast shadows where you don't want shadows and everything. And it's just like, oh, it just frustrates me. It frustrates me, so I don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna show you the setup, but I just wanted to vent a little. Um, I guess I have to get up like five in the morning. That's not gonna, it's not gonna be easy, but I'll come up with something. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I tried today that did not work at all. Hold on. So we tried with the ring light and we tried with two extra lights. But the thing is, I'm walking all the way back here and forth. So when I'm back here, it's just very dark and grayish. And I still have big, like, windows and everything. The problem is the sun now has moved. Oh, can you see? It moved from here and all the way up here. So it just, it doesn't, oh, how do I get focused back? Um, it just doesn't work. It just does not work. But we'll try again. Okay, guys, a little life <clears throat> update. It's been, I've been going nonstop. Oh, <coughs> I just ate something. Ah, I'm just stuck in my throat. Um, I've been going nonstop with fixing the apartment and my grandmother on my father's side passed away uh, a few weeks ago so we went to the funeral it was very lovely um, I was just happy to be able to spend some time with her here in Sweden um, before she passed she had stomach cancer like a very weird type of stomach cancer um, but I was just very happy to be able to say goodbye to her. Um, so the funeral was very, very nice. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's life. It makes you think about life and everything. Um, I'm just very happy to be in Sweden and be able to spend time with my family and my great grandmother. As you know, we are like this. Um, so I'm there this week. I think I'm there like every day because um, now when I'm home and I bought my little small car, it works. Um, I'll be able to take them to doctor's appointment and go grocery shopping and stuff like that. Um, so it's been, it's been so nice to be able to do that for them because for them to order like the taxi, it's not like a, it's like a taxi, but they have to wait for a very long time because it's government based kinda and it's. They pick up multiple people. It's very cheap, but it's it's long wait and stuff like that. Um, and it's only for old people to be able to get it. Um, but I'm just so happy to be able to spend time with them and and everything. But the apartment is a mess. I am so over this whole like renovating stuff. Um, by the way, what do you think about my my new girly era? I'm still getting used to it, um, 
but I wanted to do a little bit more feminine looking um, I'm just so happy to be able to dress up because you know in Mexico a lot of times it was a vacation city so most people there came to just like flip-flops and t-shirt and everything so for me to dress like this kind of it wasn't really the theme of how people were dressing and I didn't want to stand out since I was there by myself and everything so I'm just so happy to be able to dress up um, yeah <clears throat> let me show you the madness that is going on in my apartment um, I this one was like a light um, wood type of thing and I, I don't know the English word for it when you in Swedish we say betsa um, oh the light here is horrible um, but it's like a not a paint but kind of like a paint to make wood darker um, so I did that to the attitude forever I put together this big closet all by myself Ikea baby I should know how to do it because it's Swedish and then the damn bedroom this these two are gonna be closets the thing was it was white this was white and i wanted it to match um the wall paint so i went and a guy helped me and he said don't use because i thought i could use the leftover wall paints to paint furniture and he said don't use that um because it's not gonna it's it's not good for, it's not for furniture because it's the wear and tear on it is not it's not ideal, um, so don't 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 do that. I was like, okay, cool, and I got the pre-paint thing you have to put on and like sandpaper to kind of like buffer it a little, and I put it on, and then I look at the jar, and it says wall paint. So now I have to go out there because I already put one layer of it, and it says wall paint on it, and it was wall paint I shouldn't have used. Because I already had leftover wall paint in this color, so it's completely un unnecessary. I wanted um, some other paint. I don't even know what it was called. So now I have to go out there again, and I think he's kind of tired of me because I always I've been there so much. It's like, hi, I don't know anything. Can you help me? I want to do this and this and this, and he's been helping me a lot. But now I have to go back and say, hey, is this supposed to be wall paint? Maybe the jar is different and the actual color in it. The paint in it is not wall paint, I hope, because I already started. So I'm gonna go and see what he what he says. Um, still don't have a mirror, so I can't really see my outfit. That's why I'm doing this, so you guys can see it. But yeah, I have everything that needs to be put put together. Um, but yeah, let's go out driving. The sun is shining in Sweden, so let's go. Okay, obviously I had to show you the white bikini that I put on because I put on an all-time favorite. I will never get tired of this bikini. I am, I am obsessed with this. It's, I don't know what it is. I've had it for so many years, and it's just, it is so gorgeous. I, I love, love, love this bikini, and I think you guys love it too. So obviously I have to show you this bikini too. Um, let me know if you're tired of it. I don't think you guys are tired of it yet. Um, it's just a hunch. I don't think you guys are tired of this bikini yet because it's it's it has all those details on. It has like the little uh, beige, pinkish straps and like the details. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. I need to look up some English words for some fabric things because I always come short when <laughs> when I'm doing my try and hauls but it's just a thicker fabric and it's just I don't know it just looks so luxurious but I'm gonna put on my heels and I'm gonna do a little walk for you so hold on
was it for today's try on haul leave a little comment let me know what outfit you like the best of the things that i was wearing today i love to do outfits fashionable outfit try on hauls um so thank you so much for tuning in for today's video but before you leave me hit the subscribe button become part of Natalisa youtube family and per usual check out a little pink comment i have under this video where you can get to know me more on the other social media platforms that i currently have i have almost all different types of social media so don't forget to go and check it out uh, like i said it's going to be a pinned comment under this video but thank you so much for watching today's video and for always supporting me you guys are the best i am so appreciative of all you guys and i will be back with another video very soon so stay tuned